Um, hi, this is Glenn Fisher with Benefit Insights Podcast, where leaders share their insights on employee benefits. It's six minutes, or I'm sorry, six questions, nine minutes. So let's get to it. In a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Well, hello. Uh, my name is Courtney Schwagler. I am a registered dietitian and the cost containment strategist at Advanced Benefits. They also call me uh, the data ninja internally. <laughs> so what that means is the data ninja is my role and responsibility is to really breathe life into data. Um, my ultimate goal is shake up the status quo of using data in a retrospective manner. And instead let's get perspective and let's really give data a voice. I love that. I love that. So what's the best thing about being an employee benefits? Uh, well, so, OK, at Advanced Benefits, our, our motto is improving business, improving lives. And I'm definitely grateful to be on a team, an advisory team where we don't just focus on our clients bottom line. Don't get me wrong. That's really important. Mm -hmm. uh, but the fact that we can also shift gears and focus on the employees and then turn their family members and how to really improve their lives and focus on the people that impact the bottom line and run that bottom line. I mean, that's an honor um, for me. And then specializing in the self-funded realm, that allows us to get really creative and have a lot of fun on that whole improving business, improving lives motto. And I get the pleasure of working with you every day and I see that firsthand. And that's what I love most about you. Well, awesome. Thank you. I'm glad you see it. <laughs> um, number three, I hear from other leaders that work in employee benefits um, is difficult because being able to see what's ahead can be a challenge. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> well, so I feel like I'm still fine tuning my ability to um, see into the future. And so since I don't <laughs> have <laughs> since I don't yet have the crystal ball that works, um, what what I think is what we do with our self-funded groups to at least put us and them in the best position possible is we use two mechanisms to really boil down. Um, I'd say the first mechanism is just set up a self-funded client on a safe, conservative contract. Like when we're just thinking stop loss, um, you know, protect, there's going to always be unpredictable life moments that just happen. So I feel like you need to have the proper guardrails right in place to protect the plan because um, you can't I mean, you, you can't see into the future and know when that's going to happen it's if but by having that more conservative contract if it's right for that plan um, is then data analytics that's where i get to enter in and really do the fun stuff i mean i think we look at you have the high claimants so we can at least have the data see how we can better support those high claimants but for me the fun and magic really happens when we Instead, look at the pipeline. Who's projected to possibly be that not next um, top 10 claimant? And let's not get them there. Let's keep keep them either where they're at or, and you know, again, as a dietitian, my ideal is let's get them in a low risk situation. Let's improve their health. And then also coming around those low risk individuals, let's support them. So I think um, it's really just leveraging those two mechanisms to be as proactive as possible. Since again, I, I don't yet have that crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> when you do, let me know. <laughs> yeah, okay, yes, I will. <laughs> um, number four, what piece of insight do you want to share with employers? Um, I love this question. And one, the first thing that came to mind is that benefits can be fun, as geeky <laughs> as that sounds. We literally had a client that told us that after they came on board with us at Advanced Benefits, they had fun. So we use that in marketing, um, actually quoting them. But what I would say is we define something in the fully insured realm as being on the crazy train. And that's kind of like that vicious cycle of inevitably you're given an increase. I mean, most, most companies know what that means. <laughs> They're getting their increase. And what do you do? I mean, you really have two options of either shrinking the employee's paycheck or modifying the plan where it's not going to be as strong of a plan. 
I would like to challenge that and say there can be a different way and you can, as an employer, you can get off that crazy train with the right consultant um, and really put in, you know, start reclaiming control over your plan. Uh, as a cost containment strategist, I can't stress enough the importance of having a consultant that leverages a data analytics solution to properly manage what's likely one of the largest claims on your PL, maybe second to payroll. Um, and if you don't have that data analytics solution that shows you the risks you have and how to really manage those, I mean, you're just throwing darts at a wall. Um, and great if you get a bullseye, but lots of times you miss. So I also think there's a huge difference in brokers who present to you a pretty report package versus the difference being the consultant that is coming to you with the report and the, the data and presenting solutions. So yeah. if you're not currently you know, getting that, I think that's an opportunity. I also believe that data is dumb on its own. So kind of going back into getting a top-notch data analytics solution, pair it with the right consultant and gems can be found that not only benefit I think the plan, but also, you know, part of our mission is we also want to benefit the members. So getting those two to align as possible to break that vicious cycle. Um, and then I think a really good question to ask yourself as an employer is, do you have a consultant or broker currently that um, is looking uh, are, are they focusing on what I like to say pennies on a spreadsheet? So once a year, maybe you you see them and they're looking at what stop loss contracts can we do? What PBM, even though there's a lot of you know money in the PBM world, but kind of looking at TPAs and spreadsheeting and a race to the bottom? Or is your consultant focused every single day in the data to save serious dollars? Yeah. That's great. I love the crazy train concept because <laughs> me as a serial entrepreneur every year I would get that phone call from my benefit advisor yes. and, I, and I knew what was going to happen. Totally. Yeah. And I got to give yeah. props to, to JP on Jean-Paul yes. here at Advanced Benefits. He came up with the crazy chain. We've got the Ozzy Osbourne <laughs> uh, slide when, when that's available. <laughs> oh, that's classic. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely classic. <laughs> uh, number five, what other successful leaders like yourself would you like to acknowledge and should be a part of our podcast? Okay, so I would say advanced benefits, John Paul Dupin, JP Dupin, Mark Fisher, um, both of them probably would bring really fun insights to this. They've both been in it for over 25 years. Uh, diversified insurance group, my friends in Salt Lake, Sean Oliver, Gina Hutchings, both, you know, again, phenomenal wow. individuals and um, advisors. And then, you know, Greg Carlton worked closely with them with Allied Advisor Group, another great one. Um, maybe you've already hit these people up, but definitely recommend it if you haven't. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, final question. How do you celebrate a win? This is fun. So Advanced Benefits, our agency hosts a, uh, what, the call, what we call Ring the Bell, and maybe the other agencies do this, but really for us, it's an ability for our agency or a time for our agency to come together have fun, break some bread, maybe have some adult beverages and celebrate one, the work that went into onboarding this new client. So good job to the sales team, consultant team, bringing them on. And then two, it's in advance saying, thank you admin team for delivering the amazing service um, and keeping our clients happy. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I, I don't great, celebrate great enough. Time. So I, I, love, I love hearing that. So Courtney, it's been a pleasure having you on. Tell us, how can people find you? So you can find us if you go on to trustab.com. Um, that'd be the best way to, I guess, get to know us. It'll have our contact information on there. Um, if you want to send, you know, send me an email direct, you can find me at Courtney at trustab.com. So that's awesome. The, the best place. This is Glenn Fisher with Benefit Insights Podcast. For more insights, Go to LinkedIn and search for NavMD. Courtney, thank you so much. Really appreciate Great. it. Thank you, Glenn. Appreciate it.